Hello my loves and welcome back to my beauty channel. Let's just get the elephant out of the room right away. My new background. What do you guys think? This literally took me like four hours to put together myself. I don't wanna gross you guys out or anything, but I have a little scab on my finger here and that is from burning myself using a glue gun. I bought a canvas at my local art store and took apart a bunch of faux flowers and glued them down using a glue gun one by one. And somehow I managed to get glue right on my finger and it totally went right through my skin and now I have this beautiful scab on my finger. So that happened. There's also one other elephant in the room that I wanted to get out there. Last week, I posted a giveaway video on my hair channel. I'm going to link it right here on the screen and also put it down in my description box and put a little video right here somewhere so you can click it and go onto that video to see what I'm talking about. So basically this month, the month of November is three years since I launched the Fancy Hair YouTube channel. This channel has only been launched since May of this year, so it's still a baby, but the Fancy Hair YouTube channel has been up and running for three years and it's also been three years since I launched my Fancy Hair Extension brand, which is insane. I can't believe it's already been three years. Time just flew so fast and I could not be more thankful or grateful to you guys for your love and support. And in celebration of that, I'm doing a huge, huge giveaway to say thank you and show you my appreciation. So if you guys are interested in entering that giveaway, you can click the video right over here and it'll take you right on over to the giveaway video so you could find out how you can enter. <sighs> okay, now that I got that all out of the way, let's get on to today's video. Video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I created this neutral toned makeup look. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I found some new products that I have been loving and I really, really wanted to put them to use. I'm going to a wedding today with my husband. So I wanted to do something a little bit more glam, but also on the neutral side because I don't want it to be too overpowering. So this is a look that I came up with. I really hope that you guys like it. So if you want to know how I created this, then please keep watching. So I'm going to start out by priming my skin with the Makeup Forever Step 1 Base Hydrator. I really, really like this primer. It's super, super hydrating. And right now, because the temperature is going down, my skin is more dry than usual. I also like taking it down my neck since I'm going to be applying some foundation on my neck as well. All right, so while my primer settles in, I'm actually going to start out with the eyes today because I want to clean up the edges afterwards. So I'm going to prime my eyelids. You guys know it. It's my beloved MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And this is what it looks like. I use this all the time and I have barely even made a dent in it so far. I don't know how that's possible. And I'm going in with my Morphe E45 brush. So I'm just going to kind of pounce it into the product a little bit. You don't need too much because a little bit goes a long way and just cover up any discoloration that I have on my eyelids. And I usually just apply it to my lid space and up to the brows. This is like the palest I've been in a very long time, by the way. My tan from Europe has pretty much completely disappeared. So I feel a little awkward taco right now. All right, so now that my eyelids are primed, I'm going to set the primer with the Shade and Light Contour Kit. And because I'm super duper pale right now, I'm going in with this light peachy pink shade and just stippling it on top just to set that primer in place and make sure that all the shadows that I place on top are going to blend out seamlessly. So I've gone ahead and done one eye. So I'm going to show you what I did on the other side. So first I went in with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette and I'm taking my Morphe M441 brush and dipping it into this upper like nudish peach shade over here. I'm just popping it right in my crease and going back in windshield wiper motions and also alternating between tiny little circular motions like this. So circular motions and then windshield wiper motions like that. And this is just going to build up the transition shade so that all of the shadows blend in together nice and seamlessly. All right, once I like how that's blended out, I'm going in with the Morphe M433 blending brush and I'm going into this kind of Bordeaux shade 
tapping off the excess and just going right into my crease, concentrating on that outer corner and then diffusing it out towards the middle. And again, I'm using the same motions as I did in the transition. So tiny little circles and then windshield wiper motions. And now I'm going back in with the Morphe M441 brush and I'm taking a little bit of this peachy color and a little bit of this light taupe brown color and then going over top everything and kind of just blending it all together. Super, super easy and fast. All right, so now that I have my shadows in place, I'm going in with the liner and to create this nude liner that I have going on, I'm going in with Lolita 2. I have the mini version over here and I'm just putting a little bit of that on the back of my hand. This is a liquid lipstick, by the way. And I'm just taking an angled brush and dipping it into the liquid lipstick, trying not to get too much so I can try to have more control and precision over this brush. And I'm just going to start on the outer corner and kind of flick out a wing. And from there, I'm just going to drag it towards the center of my eyelid. And to clean up the outer edge of the wing, I'm just going to take a makeup remover wipe and just sharpen up that edge. And I'm just gonna take a mascara, it doesn't matter what mascara it is, it can be any mascara at all. This is just a sample Marc Jacobs mascara. And I'm just coating my lashes with one super light coat. I'm just doing it just to darken them up a little bit so that they blend with my falsies. And the falsies I'm gonna be using today are the Queen Bee Lashes by Coco Lashes. They are absolutely stunning. So you guys know what I like to do, I just like to grab onto them with a pair of tweezers. I take a little eyeliner brush, this one is from Elf and I dip it into some eyelash adhesive and just run it along the lash band. This way I get to control exactly how much glue I'm applying onto that lash band so it's not going to be too much. You just want to let it dry a little bit so that it becomes tacky and then it's much easier to apply. So my husband and I are going to a wedding today so we're super excited just to get a little bit of a break from being at home in this cold. It already started snowing today. Today was the first day of snow in Toronto. Oh, we've been having such crazy weather lately. Like the other day it was 18 degrees outside and today it's like negative one and snowing. I don't know what's going on, but I don't know how I feel about it. All right, so I'm going to apply this lash. These lashes, guys, are seriously giving me life. If you guys haven't checked out Coco Lashes yet, I definitely recommend checking them out. I get mine from Lady Moss. I think it's called LadyMossBeauty.com or something like that. Anyways, I'll link them down below for you guys if you're interested. But the reason why I like them is because they are made like really, really high quality lashes. They're very comparable to like Huda Beauty lashes or Velour lashes, but they are literally like three times less expensive than those and they are amazeballs. I can literally wear these lashes several times, no issues, no nothing, the band doesn't break or anything and I just love the way that they look. These ones in particular are very fluttery but dramatic at the same time and I'm just obsessed with them. So by now my primer had time just to seep into my skin and do its magic. So I'm going to go in with foundation and the foundation I'm going to be using today is the Born This Way foundation by Too Faced. I love this foundation. I picked it up in another color to match my current skin tone. So the shade that I'm using now is Nude. And I forgot my beauty blender. I'll be right back. Got my beauty blender. Can we just note that my beauty blender is missing the little tip at the top? I accidentally pinched off the tip of my beauty blender when I was washing it the other day and I'm super, super sad because this one is pretty new. I just got it like a couple weeks ago and now it doesn't have a tip. <laughs> All right, so my favorite way of applying this foundation is first taking it onto my fingers, applying it to my skin and kind of going in little circular motions to massage it in. And then I take my damp beauty blender and I just pounce it into my skin. And this is going to give my skin some really flawless coverage and make it look like it's airbrushed. And I still have some texture on my skin. It's not as bad as it used to be, but texture is like literally the hardest thing to cover up. If it's discoloration, I can cover that up no problem. But if it's texture, unfortunately, 
unfortunately it comes through the foundation you can see some of like the protrusions but it is getting much much better seems like my hormones are finally starting to normalize super happy about that because honestly guys the last couple months I'm sorry I totally just gave the bird as I was saying the last few months I just have not been feeling confident about my skin because usually I have such good skin like I literally have not had any issues with texture or acne or anything growing up even when I was going through puberty worst case scenario I'd get like two or three pimples on my chin around that time of the month and that would be it but lately it's just been crazy and I think it's a combination of like hormonal stuff going on as well as stress so it's not been fun let's just put it that way I really love this foundation for going out. It is more on the matte side. I prefer more of a dewy foundation. First of all, I don't want to attract any unnecessary attention to my texture issues right now. And also this foundation lasts all night long. And we're probably gonna come home from the wedding at like one o'clock in the morning. It's already 2 p.m. right now, so... I gotta make it last. All right, so for concealer, I'm going in with the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Concealer, and I'm in the shade light. Oh, I hope I'm in the shade light. I didn't get a new concealer since my tan faded, so. Okay, this one could work. This is honestly my favorite concealer of life. All right, so I'm going to take my little beauty blender and uh, instead of using the tip that usually comes with it i'm just going to pinch it and try to blend it in as best as i possibly can so i'm working on an exciting project i'm hoping i can get it up before this month is over it's going to be in the style of a vlog it's a video that i'm going to be posting on this channel i don't want to give too much away but it is going to be a very personal video i think you guys are really going to learn a lot about me from that video which is it's kind of scary but kind of liberating at the same time because i also want you guys to know where i came from so yeah that's all i'm gonna say you guys are gonna have to wait for the video hopefully i can get it up asap i'm working on it i'm working on it so i'm going back in with the shade and light contour kit and i'm picking up this shade again on a morphe m438 brush and i'm going to tap it in under my eye area and then swoop it under just like that and the padding just sets the concealer and doesn't make it look all uh, cakey and then this movement just smooths everything out and I'm also going to set in between my eyebrows along the bridge of my nose and on my chin all right I'm going to quickly set my face using the bare minerals bare pro powder foundation in pecan 18 it looks like this I talked about it in my last favorites video and I'm picking up the morphe no ah get it together Nikki this is a Lexi 502 large powder brush so I'm going to pop Pop it in there and just apply it to my skin. So first, as you can see, I'm just pouncing it in and then I'm going to buff it. I'm preventing any cakiness from occurring by pouncing it in first and then buffing it. All right, now I'm gonna move on to the brows and I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz Pencils. I'm gonna use soft brown on the outer part of my brow and taupe on the inner part. Going in with soft brown first. Honestly, guys, by this point, I've already tested out so many different brow pencils that are trying to copy the ABH pencils. I try them out for a bit, I like them, and then whenever I go back to the ABH pencils, I'm like, oh, my god why did i ever stop using these i don't know what it is about the avh pencils but the consistency just the way that they make your brows look on fleek other pencils just don't compare i always like using two mirrors when i'm doing my brows one mirror that's handheld that's close to my face and another one that's a little bit farther away the handheld one is gonna help you out with the details and the one that's farther away is just going to help you look at yourself and make sure that your eyebrows are more or less symmetrical they don't have to be perfect after all eyebrows are sisters they're not twins but we don't want them to be cousins all right so now i'm going in with Taupe. So with this one, I'm just kind of outlining the bottom of my brow and I'm feathering it to make it look more natural. All right, and to lock those brows in place, I'm going in with the NYC Lash and Brow Clear Mascara. This is my first time using this, so I have absolutely no idea if it's good or not. I will have to... Whoa! That is a massive brush. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to get back to you guys and let you know how I like this, but so far... This is a beast wand, holy guacamole. Oof. 
Okay, well it seems to be brushing my eyebrows out pretty nicely and it's holding them in the place that I kind of shaped them in. So that's a good sign. I'm gonna have to see if it's gonna last the night. So far so good, other than that massive wand. Okay. All right, brows are done. Now I'm just going to finish the lower lash line and I'm going to go back in with the shade and light eye palette. And I'm kind of gonna mimic the same thing that I did in the crease. So I'm first going to go in with the Morphe E18 brush and pick up this peachy nude shade and just run it under the lower lash line. So I'm actually pretty late to the game, this game. I recently picked up this palette using, I think I picked it up at the Sephora VIB sale and I am absolutely obsessed. I have no idea why it took me so long to pick up this palette. I think it's because I don't, I don't do makeup like this on a regular basis. I don't go out much to be honest. So I'm like, uh, do I really need another palette? But now that I have it, I'm obsessed. All right. So now I'm going with a Morphe M149 brush and I'm picking up that brownish Bordeaux shade and just concentrating that right under the lashes. And I'm not gonna go in all the way. I'm kind of like ending it about two thirds in. So you guys know for that inner corner highlight and brow highlight, I usually go in with my MAC eyeshadow in nylon. It literally sits on my makeup desk right here, ready to go for when I do my glam makeup look. But I think I'm gonna try something a little bit different today. <laughs> <laughs> and do like a matte highlight. I don't know. I just love this palette so much and I really want to try to experiment with more of the colors in here. So, oh God, I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to use my Morphe E36 brush. This is the brush that I always use to highlight the inner corner and also under the brows. And I think I'm going to go in with this shade right here. Oh my God, this is like so unlike me. And I'm going to highlight that inner corner. And it's not popping as much as I want it. All right, so I'm just going to do the same thing on this side so that both eyes are even, but I think I'm going to need a little bit, something a little bit more lighter. I think this white is a little too stark, so I'm going to try this one. Okay. Yeah, can work with that. It's very subtle, but that's exactly what I wanted. All right, now I'm gonna take that same shade and just pop it under the brow bones just to clean that up a little bit. And then I'm gonna go in with that same Morphe blending brush that I use for my transition shade and just blend those two shades together. Now, I know I told you recently I haven't been adding any lower lash mascara, but for something so dramatic, I think I need to balance out the lashes on top. So I'm gonna pop one layer of lower lash mascara to my lashes. To warm up my face, I'm going in with the Bare Minerals Ready Bronzer in the deep end. It looks like this. I also talked about this in my last favorites video and I'm taking the Morphe M527 brush. And like I mentioned, I'm not really contouring anymore. I'm just taking this brush and kind of pinching it so that it's more compact and then just concentrating it where I usually concentrate my contour and kind of like bronze and contour at the same time. It's a lot softer and a lot faster. Okay, you guys are gonna be super, super proud of me. I'm not using the Milani Baked Blush and Luminoso today. I'm going old school and I brought out my Tarte Bling It On Amazonian Clay Blush Palette, which I got in last year's VIB sale. Damn, these are some really nice, long lasting, really easy to blend blushes. They're matte, except for this one. I'm going to go for this more neutral one because it goes with the theme that I have going on. It's called Prim. So I'm just putting a little bit on my brush because this is super pigmented and just tapping off the excess and just going right on the apples of my cheeks and then blending outwards. Dang it, I forgot to contour. To contour my nose, I'm going back in with that Bare Minerals Ready Bronzer I'm using a Luxie 229 brush, just picking some of that up and just running it down the side of my nose. And just connecting both sides at the tip and blending it out. For highlight, I wanted to go big or go home. I'm going in with my beloved Champagne Pop by Becca and Jaclyn Hill. And I'm taking a Anastasia A23 highlighting brush. Maybe I'll need 
And I'm going to go in with a second helping because damn, this is just one of those beauty products that when you don't use for a while and you come back to, you're like, why did I ever stop using you? Why? Why? You were so good to me. All right, so that's done. And now I just wanna add a soft focus look to my skin. So I'm going in with the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette and I'm picking this product up with the Luxie 508 Duo Fiber Stippling Brush. And this is another product I talked about in my last favorites video. And all I do is take the brush, run it back and forth like this, tap off the excess. First, I run it under the eyes and then I blend everything together like this. Not only does it add a beautiful glow to your skin, but it also diffuses all of those lines together and makes your skin look perfectly airbrushed. Love it. So to finish off this neutral makeup look, I'm going to go in with this lip liner from Mineral Fusion in Elegant. You guys know how obsessed I am with it. I finally had to throw out my little nib that I had from last time and I picked up a new one. This is actually one of my two backups. Well, now I have one backup left, but you know what I mean? So I'm just gonna go in and quickly line my lips. And then for my lip color, I'm going in with the Kat Von D liquid lipstick in a bow and arrow. I swear this was not planned to have so many Kat Von D products in this video. I have just been loving Kat Von D products the past couple months. Totally a coincidence. And just to make sure that my makeup lasts all night long, I'm going in with the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix. If any of you have this, please tell me, is it just me or does this kind of smell like dirty socks? Whew. All right, my love, so that wraps up today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it and will try it out yourself. Please let me know what you think about these chit chat, get ready with me style videos. I have a lot of fun filming them and I feel like I'm talking to you guys. It's more personal. So if you like this kind of video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below. To see more videos like this one, please be sure to subscribe to my channel and you can also follow me over on Snap and Instagram. My handle is Nikki Sky with three Ys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I will see you in my next one. Beloved Becca Shep. Beloved back. Oh my god. Get it together. I'm going back. Oh, come on. I'm trying to get this side shot. Chit chat. Really?